Howdy y'all, you got Bulldog on the channel. Reason number 9,426 of why we don't like doing service work out in the field is you never seem to have the right stuff to get the job done. On top of that, you never actually know if it's done. You always want to double check yourself, triple check yourself, run the equipment to make sure that you've got it taken care of. This here tractor got run out of fuel and they thought, okay, well, just put fuel in it. No. It still did not want to cooperate. They had the fuel filters off, filled them up with fuel, did all kinds of stuff. It'd start and run a little bit and then quit. Well, they did not take the injectors loose to bleed the air out of them. And I thought, well, yeah, no problem. We'll take the injectors loose, we'll bleed the air out, we'll get it started, and it'll be good. I get out here, you only can get the three of them. So I cracked those three, cranked the motor, it hit two or three times. I cranked them back down, fired it up, raised the idle up quite a bit, and it was running pretty decent. Now I noticed that some electrical wiring was sitting pretty close to the uh, exhaust manifold. Now from pretty close, I mean it was melted to it. So I popped that off the exhaust manifold and I knew I didn't have any zip ties with me. This guy told me where all of his stuff was. So I went into his building, found some zip ties, came back out here. And before I got back out, your tractor died. It run about two minutes. It took me five minutes to get it started and running. I've been working on it for 45 minutes now, trying to figure out what the heck was going on. Out in the field, especially on older equipment, you can look at it and you can figure out how it works. It's not like today's computerized stuff where you just don't have the ability to look at it and figure it all out. Every one of them is different, but every one of them is the same. They have to be the same in how they do things. So I can look at this stuff and figure it out. And I looked at it, I figured it out. I found bleeders on top of the fuel filters. I took the I took the line loose at the injector pump. I got nothing. I took the bleeders loose on the fuel filters. I got nothing. I took the line off where it went into the fuel filter. I got nothing. So, old Mitzi here's got an air compressor on it, but somebody has borrowed, borrowed all of my blow guns out of the truck. So I went back over to his building and searched around and I found a blow gun. Came back over here and blew air back up the feed line and he went and started pouring fuel out. All right, pop that back on there. Before I got it tightened up, there's fuel coming out the bleeders on the filter. I got them tightened up. But before that, there was fuel coming out on the inlet of the injector pump. I tightened that up. I got it in the cab, cranked it over. Well, I sprayed it off with brake clean and blew it all off with air so that I knew I didn't have any leaks because it'll die if you had a leak too suck air but I got it running and I just, I just let it sit here and run while I clean my hands while I put tools away while I got ready to go the video has been going for four minutes here this tractor has been running for six minutes I got it running at a pretty high idle too after it ran for about 90 seconds it, uh, 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 that told me that it found all the air that was in the fuel filters and everything and sucked it through the pump and pushed it through the injectors and we're good now. Are we? That's why it's still running. I want to know. Something could happen. Whatever plugged up that fuel might get back into it. I think it was just because he ran it out of fuel and all the junk that's in the bottom of the tank starts sloshing around and it sucks up to the sock. 
if it has a sock, and it might not even have a sock. But when it runs out of fuel, it tend, any junk that's in the tank tends to just suck it right up into the pipe. So, and it came out with a pop. I didn't put much air to it, it didn't take much. I could have probably blown into it and done it, but I couldn't find any fuel hose. But, double check yourself, make sure that it's actually going to work. He's gotta come out here and put out hay. I didn't get it done yesterday because we had a fundraiser at the firehouse. So I did that and that was that lasted till after dark. So I should have come, come out here yesterday morning and did it, but I, I don't get up very well. So I'm relatively certain now that he's good. At first I thought they had messed around with fuel filters to the point that they'd run out of fuel again. And no, it wasn't the case. Uh, I, I have a yardstick here in the truck and I stuck it down in there and it had over a third of a tank, so almost half a tank. So, at least he can put out hay. Bad part is that as soon as I got that tractor fired up, all the cattle started coming up here because he's like, oh goody, feeding time, and now they're pissed. What do you do? Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.